Hello everybody, we are coming into Whitehaven Beach. So many beautiful islands and coves in the Whit Sundays, but it's kind of crazy. Like most of them, the beaches are fairly inaccessible except for at high tide. Um, and like they're all beautiful, but they're not really like your swimming type beaches. And then you come around the back side of Whitsunday Island and there's just like this massive stretch of just gorgeous white sand and aqua blue water. It's magical. So we'll uh, hang here for a few days and we'll go check out the inlet later on today because that looks beautiful as well. I think the crystal clear water throughout the whole creek. The boys are going to do some wakeboarding and some relaxing before we start uh, turning around to go home. Can I tell them what's in the creek first? What's in the creek, Baba? A hammerhead shark. Oh, maybe. No, we, they, Marilyn saw one when we were here last time. Okay, that's yeah. all right. Doing some work. Keep going. Working while at Whitehaven Beach. Doesn't sound right, but it is, I guess. And uh, yeah, and that's it. Mm -hmm. What time was dead low? Sorry. I'm hoping it's down. <laughs> we don't know how much that there is. What have we got? Like half a metre? A metre? Half. half a metre? Yeah. <laughs> Dan takes advantage of the crystal clear water to check the holes of the boat and give them a broom down. He is happy to see we've avoided growth on our new anti fowl and we re anchor a bit further out so we don't have to worry about our shallow depth while we mission around for my first experience of Tongue Bay. Despite my pain requiring innovative modes of tender travel, our mission does not disappoint. It really is the most beautiful inlet I've ever seen and is a hive of activity this weekend. I just got our home past all these ballers having their helicopter picnics. The shimmering turquoise waters of Tung Bay really need to be witnessed in person to appreciate its beauty and to do this while sailing our yacht along the east coast of Australia is beyond our wildest dreams. As we zoom through the crystal clear waters, marvelling at the surface breathing mullet, stingrays and giant queenfish, Atticus is already dreaming of his upcoming activities. Ready with our new motor? wakeboarding rope and kite surfboard, he is eager to hit the still waters of Whitehaven Beach and carve up a storm.
Just Keep got a uh, couple of little uh, lessons so going on here. Straighten your arms, and as the, the boat pulls you forward, you'll tuck your. So you're already trying to stand up. Let your bum come forward. There you go. And then as the board comes down, then what do you do? Oh, he's stuck. <laughs> Don't get stuck under the you land. stand up and you put the rope to your front hip. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Right. Now, if you fail me, you'll be the first one ever. Actually? Yay. Classic. No. Oh, you'll be right, we'll get you up. I only failed once though. Daddy gets everyone up. Why don't you do it, Mum? Get everyone up. I don't know. I'm already knew how to wait for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> After a few failed attempts at wakeboarding with Dan's kite surf, Atticus decides to test out his dodgy bodyboard with the rope. Amazingly enough, he manages to ride it like a kneeboard, kicking off with a few 360s before earning a high five and loud cheers from a group of super yachties. The next day, he is up after only a few tries and doesn't want to stop. Get him, boys! So, lads, uh, you just want to go on your back leg more.
Very good. Liking you like it in the soft sand? Yeah. Mummy uh, tried to launch and land and I uh, literally, well I can't see, just yet, sunk, sunk into the deep abyss. So we didn't realise you can actually camp on this beach. Got no feet, Crocky. Oh, this one. You leave it here. What an awesome campsite. Lachlan, what have you found? A rock. A rock or a big lump of sand that you're going to throw and it's going to disintegrate. Right, let's head up to Whitehaven Lookout. I'm gonna throw this out of here, should I? No. Why? Because. It's fun though. It's not fun. We've never gone to sand, um, snow and played yes. snow walls. Hey Lock, how you doing? Oh, we're doing good. That's good. Having a good morning? Yeah. Yeah. Are you excited that we are a bit further away and don't have the midges anymore? Yes. We'll be able to hang out. I reckon we do our glow stick party tonight. Well, it's just the fam bam. That's what I said. Yeah, there was a few um, beautiful, very large yachts around. One of them was lit up like a Christmas tree last night. And they were having a great old time, which is always nice to hear. Us people who live on the boat are normally in bed by like eight, nine o'clock. That's a late night. Nine o'clock is a late night. But I reckon tonight we have a glow stick party, get out the Christmas lights, and uh, dance the night away until like nine. Till eight o'clock. Nine, maybe. And then we'll go to bed. <laughs> so, we do love a disco party. Mama, what you say? Yeah. Oh, shuffling. Every day he's shuffling. The Whitehaven Beach Lookout Walk offers a journey of tranquility and discovery amidst the lush greenery of the Whitsundays. Meandering along the well-trodden path, you'll find yourself immersed in nature's symphony, serenaded by the melodious calls of native birds. The walk, spanning approximately 1.3 kilometres, leads you through a verdant paradise, with each step unveiling breathtaking vistas of the surrounding landscape. As you ascend to the lookout point, the chorus of bird calls grow louder, echoing through the canopy and adding a sense of enchantment to your journey. It's up the top of the tree. What is it? The koala. I'm so sorry, Mum. I dropped my glasses. What's that, Bella? Mm -hmm. By that, I mean I stepped onto them. Oh, God. Wow. How incredible is that? Who wants some new spots? Hey guys, first yeah. ones. First one. Check out that little private beach down oh, there. Yeah. And then that is Magical White Haven. Don't jump on me. I'm an auto pain. You're an auto pain. A lot of Hey. Have you had your coffee this morning? Yes, I have had a coffee Has this morning. Dad, Mummy and Daddy have both had a coffee this morning. I think I know how we can win, win every race that Dad tries to spend money on. What, by tripping him and breaking a collarbone again? Nah, by giving him no coffee. Oh. Actually, it wasn't a collarbone, it was a rib. And he tripped himself. Oh, we're racing. Yeah. Except every other race we've done, that he gets money or bets stuff. 
Didn't you win the last one? Did you ever get your five I bucks? I won it. Um, no, I remember it was either five bucks or like, I'm not going to say the game because... Oh, yeah. Technology time. Five bucks or technology time. 30 minutes or technology time. I won two of those 30 Boom. minutes. Because five dollars means nothing to me. Time and is more important than money, isn't it, babe? Time of what stuff that I get to see my friends. Time that you enjoy is always more important than money. Despite Lachlan's usual desire to avoid the camera, he is eager to go out the front of the boat and provide a stickman dance to whomever may be watching. It turns out to be a great idea because the boat anchored behind us is thrilled with the show and pop past the next day to tell us how much they enjoyed our glow stick dance party. Morning guys, so we're still here at Whitehaven Beach, which is just turning it on for us today. Um, but I'm doing a few boat jobs. So the first one is, I'm just gonna repair this uh, sail that we call Pink Bits. Um, it's our spinnaker that had a bit of a mishap. We were coming back from Daydream Island and it was my fault, but I got caught with my pants down. We, uh, we were in about 10 knots when we left. It was beautiful, it was like sort of 30 degrees off our um, port side and um, we were we were hooking like it was an awesome awesome morning but then all of a sudden it gusted up to like 23 knots and I was just waiting till we got behind the headland coming into Airlie Beach to, to drop it which would have made my life a lot easier and unfortunately the cable um, at the top of the sail broke um, which I guess is a bit of a blessing in disguise because that was an easy fix um, but in the meantime, uh, we've got a couple of screw, like bolts that hold um, the rails on at the front, which I've looked at in the past and gone, oh, that's probably not going to do great things for our spinnaker if it ever, you know, has a mishap, which it did. So basically, we've got just a few little, just a few little tears in it, nothing major, and it's right on the tack. So. Um, yeah, I'm hoping, and it's only sort of one side too, which which is good. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to be able to just run a bit of tape over them uh, and, and see if we can make it last a little bit longer, I guess, but yeah. I've done my best here. This one's not great, because it's going up onto the, I don't know, this darker, well, the black fabric, and it's, it's just a bit more puckered, whereas this is a bit softer. And it seems to have binded quite nicely. So I'm sure we'll get the opportunity the next day or two to throw her up and see if it's gonna work. Um, if not, might be time to get another one. What are you doing, ads? Coloring, coloring the sail. What sail tape? You wouldn't even know there was sail tape there. Nice hand job, boys. How good. Just a little bit of arts and craft for the day. No big deal. In paradise. Last day here at Whitehaven Beach. We're heading off tomorrow. We're going to head to potentially Scorefella. We might just go all the way through, all the way through to the Percy. So we'll, um, yeah, not 100% sure to be honest because. It's an 18 hour sail and if we leave leave in the morning we're going to get there during the night so or we, just leave um, and get there. we could leave in the afternoon and a bit more time at Whitehaven. A bit more time at Whitehaven. Sounds pretty good doesn't it? And a bit more kneeboarding in my boarding. <laughs> Loves a kneeboard don't you mate? Slash. What do you want for Chrissy? Kneeboard. Kneeboard. Well I don't know because here hold this. Okay. Here we go. 
Here you go, ladies and gentlemen, give you a little tutorial. This. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with this? Just hold it like this with the rope and hold it up to that yeah. little, um, thing and then just... Just go snap. Lave off and then get up. Boom. I've already Do done a little 360, yeah. no big deal. I've already done it for my first time. I don't know how yeah. I did it. Don't know how lucky got up on the whiteboard for the first time. Yeah. Talent. Hello, yeah, boys. Yeah. Talent. Hello. Right. So it's our last morning here at Whitehaven Beach. We are setting off, heading heading south now, so we're sort of done up here. Um, we'll probably take the next month to um, make our way south, back down to Manly in Brisbane, ready for Chrissy with the family. But we're up for this spectacular sunset, sunrise. So the sunset, the sunrise. We had some Arvo drinks with these legends just here yesterday. They popped over and said good day, which was lovely. Hey Ads, what's been your favourite part about the Whit Sundays? Kneeboarding. Kneeboarding. And wakeboarding. And wakeboarding. Well, do you know why? Why? I'm not a pro. <laughs> You're not a pro. Bloody close. Because. I did four 360s in a row. You did. And we might throw that up now. Yep. And uh, I got a high five from one of the people that live on one of these mega yachts. You did. He came out and got a high five while I was on it. Boom. We have another little uh, cross swirly current area. You can see the flat water over there. And we've got like little whirlpools turning around. Yeah. Coming through here when you're going against the opposite way of the current is really, really hard. So we had friends the other day who were coming through not this section but the section between Hamilton Island and which Sunday Island and the current was so strong that at 2,000 revs they were only going 1.5 knots against the tide because they followed it in on what they thought was going to be the incoming tide but in that section they switch and they were going against it and it was like 20 knots winds and they said it was horrible it took them ages to get through yeah we but picked, we picked right this time <laughs> Well, kind of. One side was going one way, one side was going the other way, but we're pretty well through it now. And we're saying goodbye to the Sundays. Are you waving at Oh, hooroo. Hooroo. Bye, Whit Sundays. You've been beautiful and awful and beautiful and... No, actually, you've not been awful at all. The, the winds have prevented us from seeing as much as we could have seen. But um, it is a stunning place. If you can come up here, probably like October, November, when the winds are calming down, um, that would just be absolutely magic. Yeah, it's so it's Say goodbye, good Sundays. It's been good. Woo! It's been brutal, beautiful. Can't think of any other B words. It's been great, but it's and yeah. delightful. You can say delightful. Unfortunately, you get three days out of every two weeks on average which are nice and the rest are blowing 20 to 30 knots but you know then you can go on early and 
there's great nightlife there and stuff like that, markets. It was an amazing place to come to and spend a month at. Yeah. Two months? How long have we been here? Um, I what think day that... is it? <laughs> I think we've been here like five weeks. Realistically, if we weren't in groups, we would have just gone off to more of the inlets and it yeah, bunkered right. down. But and being in groups is amazing too. Like I get, I get very bored. I need male company. It says me. It says me. But we'll, me? we'll be oh, with all I'm our the, friends I'm, again I'm, in a couple of days. I'm yeah, so we're kids. we're doing a, a semi night sale tonight. So we're going to go to okay. Scorfell today. Um, we'll probably get there around two o'clock, pending. <laughs> Depending the uh, the winds, if they pick up a little bit, we might get there a little bit quicker. Um, and then I'll probably have a bit of a kip between sort of three and nine o'clock. And then I'll um, set sail again tonight at nine o'clock and then that should get us there tomorrow morning, sort of, I don't know, seven, eight a.m., yeah. something like that. So, um, yeah, should be good. All right, peace out. We want to know how we're going. All right. Thanks for watching this video till the end. If you are new to us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Next week, we are doing a midweek episode of our Sail to the Percys, followed by our usual Saturday morning episode of the magical Percy Island.